Hey guys, this is Karob speaking and today we are back in Potion Craft with our little journey from Umbra to Evil Master Alchemist and continuing our journey right there with uh, the crafting of the final potions that we have on the board of the Alchemist's Path, uh, no, uh, the, of the Philosopher's Salt rather. And uh, that are, let's check out, mm, five more to go. That, that is a lot to bite off. Or do we have some potion here that could save our butts? But no, alas, we don't. <laughs> it's just a multi-effect potion. I think last time we said that I would be going ham on these potions right from the start. And I think that is a uh, probably a good way to go about it. Um, how about we do the three easiest ones today? And then, next episode, we do the two hardest ones. Okay. Okay, well, I... I can identify the two easiest ones. But then it's going to get a little weird. Uh, so, uh, this one down here, of course. So, Frost Explosion, Lightning, Stone Skin and Magic Vision. Attainable. Attainable. It's a little tedious, but attainable. Then we have this one. Same thing, same story. Light charm, snailiness, bulliness, and um, happiness uh, is uh, also pretty easy. Then we have these bastards of potions. Like, why? Okay, I, I think I know a path for this one. So let's start it. And uh, just looking at it, it's uh, the way of the alchemist is to... Find words that I speak to you. That's hard sometimes, you know. Uh, no. So what we're going to do here is well, uh, try to go up this path, right? So we have the charm there. We have bull there. We have libido there. And we do want to go this direction because of the whirlpools, of course. Then drop down here to light, ladle back, and then whoosh, down here, super efficient, and grab snailiness. Uh, straightforward. So let's do it. So we start out with a whirlwind, a feather bloom, and then a, a lust lustrum. Yes. So um, fire that one up and get to the charm effect right away, and then we can just ladle back and teleport to gain back what we lost in terms of positioning. But yeah, this is pretty simple. Let's zoom in a bit so that we actually see what we're doing here. And uh, just go all out on this one. Now, I do want to have something that gets me to here. Just touching it is fine, of course. Uh, but also to there. I think a magma moral is the way to go. Let's see if that holds true once I uh, am back up there. So, uh, just go around. Uh, maybe not, because we're too close to the center now. But maybe. Let's, uh, let's take... Ah, no. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's go grasping roots. It's not too bad, really. So uh, pop that in there. Then just go to uh, touching it right there. Fire it up. And then we uh, are going to ladle back into there. And poof it. And there we are a little bit closer to uh, where we wanted to go for the for the rages of bulls. Uh, where... Where is Magma Moral? There. Oh, now it's actually more efficient to go that direction straight away, isn't it? Yeah, let's let's go to standard variant here. Just uh, throw in the mushroom. And go past that one, fire it up. And continue on. And a lava root will get us there just so that we touch it, throw that in. Make it simple for ourselves. It's a one-off potion anyway. Uh, yeah, we can go. We should go all the way. And now... Oh, stop in time, please. Thank you. Now we just need to go south. How about... Ugh. Yeah, we can ladle, so it's not, not an issue. Um, just throw in that one. Go through here. We'll be good. Nope, don't throw in. <laughs> just imagine I accidentally... 
grab the moon salt and dump it all <laughs> into there. It's like, no! 13.6k moon salt all gone. Uh, so jump, dump that in there, fire it up a little so that we don't die. And uh, just go touch the effect. Here we have that one. And now continue on. Ooh. Careful, not too quick. And there. Oh, that that is enough to grab this one and maybe even go past a bit, isn't it? So, um, that was the right choice. Let's uh, ladle as much now as we can because we're still higher up. So we go down more um, as we do that. So a little bit more. That's fine. That won't, won't kill us. Famous last words. And now, um, that's looking pretty good. So just ladle in here and fire it up. Yeah, so there we go. Um, there, potion is still hot. Fire it up again. And now, can we get through there without dying? Nah, doesn't look like it does. So what I'm going to do is um, put in the ingredient that we would need anyway to get there. I assume that's going to work out. Uh, so let's pop that in there. Just go a little bit. There. And now uh, continue ladling. And back at the center we are. Ooh. Now we're not really touching that one as, as nicely as we usually do. That's a little nasty. Let's see if it works out regardless. It should. But not as neatly. Oh, come on. Oh, that was very close. <laughs> it was very, very close to not working. <laughs> Yeah, that's still good. We don't need the strength, after all. So now, uh, just something that gets us down there and continues down. Dry it saddle kind of works. Um, let's throw that in there. I do want to stop it right there at the start. Does that kill us? I think we found out that it doesn't, right? Uh, that is very close. That is very close. It's slightly, just minor amounts of uncomfort. D disc, sorry, discomfort, it's called. Discomfort. Uh, and we're going down there. Now, that one doesn't suffice now. That's a shame. But um, what we can do is just throw in that regardless. And then just water bloom the rest and we're good. So water bloom there. And all right. And that should be the potion. Let's see. There. Go there and a little bit more like this. Ladle back and grab the effect. Poof! There we have it. Now, counting: uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's number ten. Save the recipe. Finish the potion, and there we have it. That's uh, a big fat tick on it. Uh, no, not that kind of tick. Um, so let's do the other simple one to get further get warmed up for the craziness that is this. I'm, I'm in a two-episode recording session this evening, this night. Um, and I think this one will do well now to warm up. And then we pick our poison. Is there any literal meaning to that? No, unfortunately not. Sorry. Frost... Explosion, lightning, magic, vision. So, frost first. Then we go here. Okay, go go through here with a spell bloom. Just grab the effect. We encountered this, I think it was last episode, right? That you could just go straight through here with just the spell bloom. Um, out here. Go back here. Up there. Grab that one. And then, what were the other effects? Um... Stone skin and explosion. Okay, so explosion, we go this way, then we come back, and then we go down with a mud shroom and a poop shroom, and we got it. Okay, so that's the plan. Now let's see if we can execute on it. So the bestest trick in the world, of course, we are going there first. Um, something like there, then ladle back. And just go past all of that. So, there we have our little potion of frost. 
Then we can dream beat it up to uh, get into the whirlpool. So just go there and go a little bit this way and ladle a little to the outside so that we have a bit more leverage. And now uh, throw in our spell bloom to see when we want to apply it. Because we want to go straight through to the other side and skip all the nonsense that is there. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's probably quite efficient. So uh, pop that in there and just see when the path is good for us. I think that looks fine and dandy. So let's go there. Oh, squeezing through without even touching a bone. Poof that one. And just continue. Oh, you didn't see anything. Um, and now, that way. Although, no, you know what? We could go up because we do have the teleportation help here. Could go up in this, this direction there, over there. We have this one to also help us. And this one to help us reposition. And then we can just ladle a little and we're back. I think it is a blood thorn from here. As we just need to touch that whirlpool and then teleport. And then go to that one. So, um, let's do this. Fire it up. That takes a while. Yes, and uh, we do want to ladle early. As early as we can. That is looking good. Let's go around here. Ladle a little bit more. Let's continue. And that should touch there. Yes, it does. Okay. Do we actually die in here? Yeah, I think we would. So let's get out of there. There. And just go around the conventional way. Without dying. Preferably. And here we go. Whoop. And now. Um, sideways. Because we do want to go to explosion next. But we do need sideways motion anyway. What is sideways? Well, it's always uh, magma more. Because that's great. And ladling. Uh, good combination. So using that one to reposition. And then we ladle into into position as early as possible to give us the maximum sideways movement. Uh, let me just double check the recipe so that I'm not not thinking of things that are, shouldn't be thought of. Uh, yes, so, so far we are correct. We do need lightning, explosion, and then the uh, stone skin. So this is good. Fire this one up. And now we go that way. Um, if it's bubbling too much, would you be able to grab another effect without having to repoof the potion? Maybe. Maybe. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful. Uh, Last Mushroom gets us up there. And from there we can teleport to be able to ladle a little bit more. And no, it's not about the ladling here, but uh, rather it is um, that this place up there is um, from an angular point of view further in the direction that where we want to go. So let's just head down here. And now, um, which ingredient do we want to use here? A stinky shroom? Because we did want to go... Yeah, we did want to go straight f back through here. Oh, uh, let's see, is that enough? Uh, that one crosses the line. That's the banana. This one kills us. Well, that's slightly unfortunate. But uh, the banana does the trick. Oh, let's grind it out to here. And throw that in. And then we can just pass that one. And grab the effect. There. Fire it up. Poof. And now back to origin. All right. That's a four effect potion that we needed. So far, very efficient, I have to say, for these four different effects. No major mistakes were made just yet. Um, let's see if that changes. So, uh, pop that in there. Standard fare. We have done so a lot of times already. Fire it up. Almost die. Where's the poopies? There's the poopies. Um, yes. That is what we want. Now so we are going to go there. 
throw that in there. Um, ladle a little. Because we only need that part of the curve. So, we go there, go there, go there, and now just um, teleport. There we have it. All right, and poof it again. There, yes. That is, uh, which one is it? That is, oh, that one down there. That was 10, 11, 12. Okay, philosopher's piece, pea salt, P 12 Save the recipe, finish the potion. Pop it in there, because we do like to see progress, don't we? Um, even though it's the simple progress. <laughs> the easy way out. But now, we have no more easy way out. There are only hard potions remaining. Um, and sorry, no literal hard in those. We just made the literal hard there. Um, but now, hmm. Let's see, which one do we want to take on? This is... A masterclass in um, outer rim movement, but not difficult. It's just you have to grab the mana effect and then jump and then go all the way around. Uh, half a way around. Yeah, actually, let me check that one. Um, how is mana situated to the point where we want to jump? So, mana there, of course, and then I would like to jump here, and that is. That's the correct point. So, like, they're the two main jump spots, of course. This one here and this one there. And uh, I always forget where inspiration lies exactly in relation to these two. But, yeah, it make, that makes sense. So, we are going to mana uh, through here, up there, and jump. Alternatively, you know what? That thing does teleport us over. So what we could do is go the opposite direction. Could go here first and then grab... Was it Fragrance? Um, no, that was the other potion. Uh, we do want Rejuvenation, Hallucination... Oh, no, it's this. Rejuvenation Luck, which is center right. Then uh, Hallucination, which is uh, top right. And then this one. And then we could jump over again and grab mana. I think that's the plan. Let me just see if the streams are aligned for that progression. Um, we have not tried this one yet. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, this one isn't really aligned. But these make... Yeah, going upwards is easier. Right. Okay. Glad we checked. So, it is a very simple... Go down here... Grab this one. Oh. Oh. Right. Unfortunately, we don't have a, an easy... Um, a, an easy rejuvenation level one because it's so easy to make perfectly on the other map. Hmm. All right, we have to go there manually. Uh, I guess we can do. Uh, let's start. Standard stuff. Let's see if I get it right this time with the weird shroom touching the whirlpool. So I think about this, like at the center of the lower path was the optimum for this. If I remember right. Oh, what we also could have done is just uh, brew a slow potion and continue from there. Because uh, <laughs> then it's just going down from there and we are going to get rid of all the perfect effects of from the slow anyway. But uh, here we go. So... Uh, touch that one and fire it up without making a strength potion <laughs> so yes uh, that is a little generous uh, let me see if the weird room does save us it does and that was correct so how much do we want to grind out we're going to throw all of this away anyway so that's okay just get in here teleport and then it's poop shroom afterwards so we go there, and then Earth Pie, right? We only have 45! That's running low on Earth Pyrites! So Druid's Rosemary, and then a Tangleweed with a little bit of ladle action. Don't want to lose too much of the sideways, so I'm going to ladle first. There. And the Cold Leaf gets us into a decent position. Uh, let's not overdo it. That should be good enough. 
Then a Mage Berry continues the path nicely to touch the effect. That was too much. Let's take a new one. Uh, I have to zoom in to see if that is actually touching. Uh, could be a little bit more. Like there. That's fine. Alright, first effect. We have arrived after all of that. But this is going to make the uh, path ahead a little easier. Could go the super easy path ahead and just go here and teleport across. Why not? Looking at it, we have 80 cloud crystals. So I think I will be forgiven to be using one that is in a one-off potion. So uh, yeah, let's uh, ladle a little here, get into position and teleport across. So cloud crystals, no more. Another mage berry. I still ha hesitate whenever I want to throw in a mage berry, but we have plenty now, so it re I really shouldn't. And a dream beat later, we are here. Now, uh, next effect is uh, luck. And then we have to go up here and down into there via ladling, and then out of there, this path up to here. Then back to this one, jump across, and grab the mana. Was it the mana? Mana, yeah. Alright, some efficient moves coming in now. Uh, gotta make use of this one to get to there, which then continues to teleport us. That should be good. Now, teleport with this one. Get into the next one. There, are oh, beautiful beautiful path writing and there we go nice with just one whirlweed where did we start down here somewhere yeah that was efficient two feather bl no one feather bloom two wind blooms and now we are getting close use this for a little boost and then just another feather bloom up there Gotta go out a little late, like this, and then we are behind the effect already. Good. So, second one is in there. And there. Perfect. Just a bit of dumb transportation now to the next spot. So, we go through here. And, uh, uh, what would this be? Is that... Mm. Okay, another Lust Mushroom. It's really good. Oh, now we shouldn't forget about um, the power of the teleport. And the power of the ladle. Because this one is now almost on ladling distance, but there's something in the way. And then this one is teleporting us all the way up to there. So basically to the same uh, distance from center as we need to get to uh, that one. And you can see it a little bit like a, a potential well, if you're a physicist or scientist or pretend to be. Uh, and then um, the further away you are from the center, the, the higher the well. So uh, you, you've got to invest energy if you're coming from the center to climb up to the outskirts. And that is why I fancy teleporting to the outskirts, because that is free. And um, is that a quantum jump? Yes, I guess. So now we are going that way. That's a little too much, isn't it? I have a better idea. It is the dragon pepper because that gets us <laughs> back. So uh, we do want to get around the wall. And then um, do we want to... We can't go in there and get anything out of that apart from destruction of this path which is exactly what we want isn't it so uh, yeah let's do it that is looking better something like this all right now just go around and then ladle when convenient uh, something like there and now we reuse that method uh, almost touched that one. All right, hallucination is on the table, and we have that. Now, just go north, teleport, and we are up there. 
all the way at the edge of knowledge. Um, now, where do we go now? Oh, that teleportation there is beautiful, of course. So we only need to get down there. I think a magma moral would do the trick with a little bit of running into the barrier of knowledge. Uh, let's lay it a little, as that is helpful. And then another magma moral, because we like it. We don't need any additional movement there, though, so um, just throw that in, in a short arrangement, and fire it up, get behind the effect, and then we make our way back to the center. So, here we go, inspiration it is. Now, this one is the one that we want. Yeah, question, can we get there? Like, uh, just touching that? I don't think so, right? This is a little too far away. Oh, is it? No. No, this is this is actually perfect. So, um, let's go here. And stir it up. Now, make the jump. Is this the first time that we actually use this for good effect? This uh, teleportation? I think it might be. So, now that we are back in the inner circle, I just need to go that way. Use all of these and ladle back and we're there. And the evergreen fern will be what takes us there. Uh, if, if it might, please. There. Yep. Touch it. Now. Oh, we can actually teleport with this one. Make it... <laughs> Didn't even need this massive effect. I forgot that this one teleports to a nice place. Uh, anyway, there we are. And now uh, we just ladle. And we got it. That That is a big, big path that is sticking out of it that is unused. That is probably the least efficient evergreen fern ever used. And now <laughs> we're done. Finally. Blah. And that should be piece old P8. That's a very pretty potion, I have to say. Especially with that label on it. That's cool. Um, let's use this one and... Save the recipe. Finish the potion. Nice. Put it in there. Ah. Beautiful. Now, um, were there any more garden tendings to do? No. Were there any customers? No. Cool. Um, that's nice. I think we call this an episode and then next time we're going to finish the very last set of potions for the for the game to take before we create the pea salt and then it's just a few hundreds of a few hundreds of potions to get the popularity level to 15 so it's 1000 popularity here to get to 14 and then 1250 to get to 15 <laughs> that will take a while um yes i hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time